So hi there, thank you for joining us. Today we're gonna to be doing a tattoo removal treatment. Tattoos, are, as you can see, are immensely popular, but as much as people are taking them on, there are folks here and there who do have reasons to take them off. So today, Mike is kind enough to be our patient for the day. We're gonna do a treatment with him. He's not had one before, it's his first one. And uh, we'll chat a little bit about the whole process as we go along. So I'm gonna get started now with the laser treatment. And it's quite interesting because you can actually see it working at the time of the treatment. So with that said, let's get started. Just gonna take my laser, it's already all set up and ready to go. I think I'll start here in the middle because it's a little bit easier for everybody to see. So I'm just gonna stand here and just hold a bit of traction on the skin. It makes a popping sound. Here we go, are you ready? Yep. Here we are. So as you can see, there's the whitening of the marks, almost as if I was erasing it with the laser as we go along. This is a sensitive area for him. It's right over his spine here where we're starting on the little and sign. Now, I'm not sure with the video footage if you can hear really well the snappy sound. What's very interesting about this type of laser is that it is what we call photoacoustic. And so that means that the, the way that this is working on the ink is that it's actually trying to break up the ink particles. So many lasers are what we call photothermal, which is light to heat and we cook things like in hair removal or blood vessels or pigment lesions, those are photothermal. With ink molecules, we're actually not trying to cook it at all. The ink lays in the skin and stays there because the body can't reabsorb it. The molecules are just too large. So by striking it with this type of laser, it's most similar from an analogy point of view to using lithotripsy or breaking up kidney stones with shock waves. So we break it up with the laser and then the body goes and reabsorbs the ink fragments over the course of the next week or so. So we'll keep going, so a little bit more. You okay there? We're gonna start back up so again. So good. All right. It's always a little bit jumpy when I first get going, eh? There we are, almost finished the and sign. A little bit more on the curl and then I'm gonna get off this bony spine area. You'll be very happy to know. So that's the finished appearance of the little and sign. So we'll keep working away on some of these other areas. This hopefully should feel a little better. So. so Mike here is just taking this very natural today. Sometimes we can prep with a bit of freezing cream and that's very helpful. It goes along at a relatively brisk pace. You can see in this short amount of time, we've almost covered off this whole letter H here. I'm almost done. I'll give you a little breather again and we'll chat a bit more after I finish the H. One more long arm of the H to go. Okay, H is done. So here's the other thing about this. This takes a number of treatments. So with each session, some of the ink will be absorbed. The remaining ink will be treated again. The immune system will go in and mop up some of the little fragments over the next few weeks. And then after about a month or so, we can take a look at him and go back to work and try to remove some more by again the same process, breaking down the large residual ink fragments and then trying to let his immune system clear it. So it's a series of treatments. Most people would need anywhere between maybe as few as four upwards to perhaps 10. So now we'll work on the O. Better when you go in now. Little spurts. Little spurts are more comfortable? Yeah. Okay, so we'll do little bits and I'll give you a little break. It's also sensitive back here. About five more seconds and then we'll take a breather. Breather time. You okay there? Yep. So the other thing to know is that sometimes it's difficult to confirm that we'll be able to get all of the ink. The issue is with tattoos is that they're done manually by artists. And not all artists work is identical. Sometimes the ink can be very deeply placed, much deeper than what the penetration is of the laser. So one of the limitations to tattoo removal is that sometimes there can be a little bit of a residual ghost image left. 
The new lasers of today are so much superior to the old ones. We do much better work now. But that's again something you'll need to discuss with your care provider as you think about having one of these treatments done. Ready for a little bit more? Yep. <laughs> Here we go, as ready as you'll ever be. It's the inside of the O. So it's a little bit of a smaller circle this time than the other one. You did great. Almost finished. That one's done now too. Great. So pretty much this is how the treatment goes along. So Mike and I will <laughs> sign off now and thank you for watching. We're going to work the rest of the way through. I'm going to give him a little <laughs> stress ball to squeeze and that will help a little. And I'm going to send him with a, a handout on some freezing cream. We'll see what we can do to make the next treatment a more pleasant treatment so that we can stay friends after all of this. <laughs> Again, thanks so much for watching and if you have any questions, uh, I would be happy to take them for you or perhaps the folks at Alma Lasers. Thanks again. Have a good day.